Hello everybody, it's Ian Marsden from MarsdenCartoons.com um, It's been a long time since I've made one of these so I felt like making a little video again uh, especially to show uh, all of the latest, the last videos that I uploaded I all drew on a Wacom Intuos tablet where I was actually holding the tablet on my lap and looking at a regular monitor but now I've gone ahead and got myself a new toy which is this new um, Cintiq 21UX. Well, it is a tablet too, but it's actually a monitor, and I can go right into the monitor and draw, which is a fantastic tool. So I just thought I'd show you some of the recent work I've been doing, and uh, show you a little bit how it works here with this new Cintiq. Um, here's an illustration I recently did for a newspaper. It is uh, it was a very large illustration it was actually over a double page and what I did here was I created the line art in Illustrator I actually did a sketch first in Painter then I created the line art in Illustrator and then I brought it into Painter to color it and to give it this sort of really painted I used an oil oil brush to give it this really detailed painted look that I that I like quite a lot. Not always. Sometimes I like to color directly in Illustrator, especially if I wanted to give it a more clean look or a more flat look. But um, for this one, I think it worked out quite well. And let me just demonstrate a little bit. There's Roger Federer, the tennis player. Of course, here's Elton John. And let's find the color layer. Everything is on different layers. As you can see, there's the line art. And there's the painted art. What I used here was an oil, a round camel hair. Probably about. Yeah. And the nice thing with the round camel hair, if you can see that here, is it, it gives you this really brushed look. And I can just pick up the color with my color picker. And I can also go back again in the, in the opposite sense with the lighter colors. And they they actually mix, they pick up from each other too. You can change your settings, how much they pick up and how much they mix and blend. Obviously it's an extremely versatile tool. But um, and you have everything from watercolor to oil paints to acrylics and everything, whatever you want. But I found that uh, for this illustration and for similar illustrations, I really like to do that. Um, here too in his tuxedo it it allowed me to give these really shiny, reflective tuxedo look. If I wanted to, of course, I could have drawn the lines directly in Painter as well. Um, you do have pens, and they work very, very well too. It's just um, generally, I like to have a lot of control over my lines. And uh, these lines here are bitmap, so they cannot be scaled. Whereas the lines that I brought in from Illustrator, of course, are vector lines, which means I could have scaled them, moved them, used the Bezier tools to change them if I wanted to. It just gives me more control. But I think this was a quite a fun piece, I think. and it looked really good on the paper too. Except actually, Elton was never in it. We changed him and replaced him with another athlete in the end. Uh, here's a thing I was working on in Flash, just to show you how great it is to work in Flash here on this Cintiq as well. Uh, it's a short little looping animation for a company. They're jumping rope. And um, I have this set up here as a frame by frame animation. As you can see, he jumps up and he comes down with a bit of squash and stretch and all the good stuff and this just loops infinitely infinitely not infinitely and uh... can be used i'm gonna output it for very in flash but also as a movie and it will be an animated gif too for a website um, of course you can draw directly in flash as well i used to do that quite a lot but recently i find that illustrator has more control on the various brushes and I can import a layered illustrator file 
directly into um, Flash layered and positioned and everything. And it just, um, it's wonderful now how Illustrator, of course, Flash is now Adobe, it's no longer Macromedia, so they work very, very nicely together. It's a little Flash piece. Uh, here's another, this is an Illustrator illustration here. And I think this shows quite nicely uh, how I like to work in a sort of clean and with very flat colors and clean line look. Um, again, this is 100% vector, meaning that I can uh, take these objects and move them. I can, of course, affect them with the Bezier curves if I wanted to. Uh, same goes for the color. These are all flat color objects. And it just gives you such wonderful control. I can go in here. And if I didn't like his face or wanted to move his eyes over here a bit, or I wanted to add some cheeks to him, or make his nose you know, smaller. Uh oh, wrong. Okay, here we go. You know, it just gives you all that amazing flexibility. And this is a piece of quite a lot of detail. The scientists are looking at his DNA. So you have these DNA strands, and I wanted the helix to go in front and behind. So you have all these. Um, little added goodies. So all in all, you know, quite a lot of work, quite a lot of detail, but just such fun to do on this, directly on the screen and in Illustrator. Now this one actually, because it was about scientists looking at people's DNA and looking, making somebody transparent, so to speak, the editor finally decided that maybe he shouldn't be wearing a suit that you might be better off wearing boxer shorts to show a little more transparency. So I actually made a second version, kept the scientists and his face, but redid his body, and I had to change his position because before he had his hand in his pocket. And now I gave him more of a sort of a natural stance as you would have with boxer shorts. I had to move some things around, and again there, this is where Illustrator is great because I didn't have to cut and paste or destroy pixels or stretch anything. I could just pick things, elements, and move them. And um, again, I'm, you know, I think this came out quite well. Quite happy with the way it came out. Here I also worked with blend modes in Illustrator. Now, of course, you can work with most of the blend modes and effects that you have in Photoshop as well. So actually, first I gave him more brightly colored boxer shorts, but that's not the effect I wanted to go for. I was looking for something a little more subdued. So um, in the end, it came out like this. And there's even a tiny little apple on our laptop, which was virtually invisible in the newspaper, but a little gag I like to put in there anyway. So yeah, there's another um, recent illustration.